2020 anchor Chris Cuomo, who's in Aurora this morning helping lead our coverage. Chris is taking a look at the stories of the 12 people who died. Chris, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. How are you? For all the intrigue surrounding who did this, James Holmes, this story is really about the lives he ruined. In this university hospital and other hospitals in the area, dozens are still struggling to either recover or just survive. And they are the lucky ones because, as we know for sure, 12 lives were lost in a night that should have never happened. Last night at a local high school, emotions ran high for family and friends still waiting and wondering. But for others, news of the worst has already come. Jessica Gowie was a 24-year-old aspiring sportscaster. She sent a last tweet just before the show started. Movie starts in 20 minutes, she wrote. We spoke to her brother, Jordan. She was tweeting and online and active right up until these final moments. How was she living right up until the end? She seemed happy. I mean, you saw it. She was excited about um, the movie. Last night, Jordan would write his own tweet. Let us remember the names of the victims and not the name of the coward who committed this act. Victims like 23-year-old college student Michaela Medic, whose sister Amanda we saw earlier Friday grieving outside a family assistance center. Ohio native and Target employee Matt McQuinn, seen here in his high school yearbook photo, was also confirmed dead. And we're starting to learn about some of the youngest victims, too. This father who told a local Fox affiliate reporter that his six-year-old daughter had died and that his ex-wife had been shot but survived. I was called at 3 in the morning from a family member in New York to tell me that my... Ashley had been shot and they didn't know where my child was. After being thrown in circles and circles and telling me, oh yes, you'll be able to see her in just a moment, I find my child is dead. That frustration was echoed throughout the day. Tell me where he is, okay? Find my son. I don't know where he is, okay? Somebody find him and call us. Tell him to call us. His name is Alex Sullivan. Please call so we can find him. All right, thanks. There he is. How old is he? He's 27. Today's his birthday, for God's sakes. How old is he? 27. We learned late last night that Alex, too, was a victim. He was at the movie celebrating his 27th birthday and his first wedding anniversary on Sunday. You know, adding to the bitterness of the loss here, Biana, is that these kids, so many of them were so young. This was a Batman movie. And the unknown is the hardest part for these families. They are being notified now. We're going to hear about who was actually killed in that theater. But this really is just the beginning of a painful process for so, so many, Biana. So much innocence lost. All right, Chris, thank you.